We got some frozen hash browns here already cooked. I cooked them according to the directions on the package. So check those out. We got some smoked pulled pork. I made this myself, we did it in the backyard. But if you need to find some grocery store pulled pork, knock yourself out, it's good stuff. So we're gonna grab a healthy helping of our pulled pork here and just kinda spread them out on the hash browns here. All right. Couple tablespoons full, nothing crazy. Yeah, this is just, guys, I gotta tell you, this is my pulled pork. I know it's good. It isn't some store bought stuff. This was actually off of my smoker in the backyard. Okay, last one right here. A little bit more barbecue seasoning on top there. You wanna make sure this got plenty of flavor. Okay, we're using, uh, the classic by fire and smoke in case you care and we'll go ahead and complement it with their uh original barbecue sauce so we're gonna take a little bit of that over the top just a little drizzle and this is right down the middle Now, the reason we cooked the hash browns already is the rest of this stuff is already cooked, right? Well, I mean, the pulled pork is cooked, and then we'll melt the cheese on top. But those frozen hash browns, they need some time to actually, you know, get crispy, get cooked up, right? So you want to make sure that you do those first, okay? It's, it's crucial. It's important to this recipe. Next up, we're going to go with some uh, crispy fried onions on top. Just a handful, just a little bit, and some's gonna fall off. Don't sweat it. These look magical already. And these little potato cakes, you know, they're such a great vessel for anything. So you could do this with all sorts of meats and cheeses. You know, it's like a loaded baked potato without having to bake the potato, I guess. So loaded potato patties. I like it. It's a good idea. We have some grated cheddar cheese that's going to go on. Put a healthy amount of that on top. Guys, tell me this isn't looking money in the bank, baby. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Give me the thumbs up if you don't mind. Get that algorithm going. The powers that be like those thumbs ups. <laughs> Last thing, we're going with a little jalapeno slice right on top. That'll melt in there, cook off, add a little extra flavor, a little heat. Now, you could add more if you want. But this is me right now, just setting it up. Tell you what, those look good enough to eat. <laughs> All right, guys, these are ready to go in the oven. I cooked the hash browns according to the package, so they were uh, 400 degrees. So we're gonna just throw it in at 400 degrees, just left my oven on, okay? 15 minutes, all right, you want all that cheese to get nice and melty, everything to kinda, you know, come together in there, right? So, like I said, 15 minutes, nothing crazy. Get that cheese browned up a little bit, and then we'll be eating good in the neighborhood, baby. Let's go. All right, fresh out of the oven. Loaded potato patties are ready to roll. I'm gonna go ahead and get these off this tray, get them on another tray for plating, and we'll take a bite. Let me get you guys a close up of the goodness right there. That is looking money. You know you're gonna love it. All right, guys, we plated it up, made it look pretty for the pictures and all that. You know, the, the camera eats before we do. Beautiful loaded potato patties. Let's get a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Savory, sweet, potatoey. These are the best loaded potatoes you've ever tried. All right. Because, baby, you know they're good.